Yo, if you save some money for back to school gear, this week should get you just right. Let's start the show. <laughs> Hi, I'm your host, Jock Slade. Welcome to the Heat Check. And this week kicks off with one of the more popular sneakers from the 90s, the Nike Air More of Tempo. Rocked by none other than Scotty Pippen, this new colorway takes the Georgetown route with the colors on the upper, and you can grab a pair for $160 over at Finish Line. If you are a fan of the Yeezy Calabasas because of its small form factor and retro styling, well, you're in luck as Adidas is also dropping the Continental 80, which I actually think looks a little better. They have four different colorways dropping this week, and if you are anxious to try this style out, this is probably your best chance at it. You can grab those for $80. Heading back over to Beaverton, the Nike Vapor Max is dropping in a few different styles this week. One is really crazy that I'll talk about later, but as for today, you can grab the Flyknit 2 in a couple colorways, as well as the mock version of that shoe in a similar colorway as well. Those are priced at $190 and $200 respectively. If you've been trying to get into running, the Nike Epic React is dropping this week as well. I've been running in these pretty consistently, and I think people will really enjoy them. Those are $150 and should keep up with your running schedule unless you're like running marathons every day. And speaking of marathons, the Nike Zoom Fly SP is dropping in two colorways today. I know these are built for running, but I still think they're a really dope lifestyle shoe. Both colorways, the Orwood and the Obsidian, will cost you 170 bucks. All right, Friday is surprisingly thin when it comes to releases, but it does have a new silhouette from Adidas that I haven't seen before, the Adidas Pure Bounce Plus. I haven't seen very much about this shoe anywhere, but from the looks at it, the name makes me think that it replaces the boost with Bounce. I know that's a foam that they use in Dame's basketball shoes, so if you've never tried Bounce, I recommend you give it a go. It feels really good and plays well in Dame's shoes, so I expect that Adidas has tailored this version for running. The best part is that Bounce isn't as expensive as Boost, and that keeps the prices down. These will cost you $100 over at Finish Line. Heading over to Baltimore, under Armour is dropping the top on the Havoc and bringing a new colorway of the Havoc Low. If you've been following Under Armour lately, you know that they've been using Hover Foam and it works really, really well. Those will be available in navy or gray for 100 bucks. Looking ahead to Saturday's releases, Nike Sportswear is bringing some hybrid sneaker love to the game with the Air Max 90 slash one. As the name implies, the model takes the two iconic sneakers and masters them together to create a brand new silhouette. I'm starting to kind of warm up to this design, but I still haven't copped a pair yet. You can grab those in a few different colorways for 140. Now, speaking of new silhouettes, or at least new to me, the Adidas Pure Boost RBL, or Rebel I believe that is, is making an appearance on Saturday. They are branding this as a limited release which may account for the pricing, but as far as the upper goes, Adidas has switched it up just a bit to give the model a different feel. Those are 160, and if you like Boost, well, it doesn't get much better than that. Basketball season is still a good month or so away, but Nike is getting us some early looks at kicks from LeBron with the olive colorway of the Soldier 12. I imagine we'll see LeBron in a good mix of sneakers this year, especially with that new rule change, and I'm 100% here for it. If you like olive, you can grab those for 140. Keeping with Nike basketball, the PG 2.5 is taking the Jim Red route this weekend. If you are a literal baller on a budget, you'll be hard pressed to find another sneaker as hot as these. Those will cost you 110. If your budget is a bit bigger, the Nike KD 11 will be available in cool gray. I kind of I remember when Nike just started adding cool graded kicks and now it's pretty much on everything. I've heard good things about the KD11, you can grab those for 150. And rounding out the basketball goodness with another silhouette from LeBron, the LeBron 15 Low. Like the PG2, these are rocking with a red upper, but instead of gym red, they're going with university red, which is a different shade if you didn't notice. Uh, like the KD11, those will cost you 150. One of the most hyped sneakers of the weekend is the Air Jordan 1 OG NRG by Nigel Sylvester. I have yet to get my hands on a pair of these and I want them so bad. So I'll be trying just like you guys on Saturday morning to get my hands on a pair of these. All that aside, I just really love that Jordan brand gave him a shot like this. I think it's really dope. Now look for those to be crazy limited on Saturday. Puma is fighting back and I think they're making some waves. This weekend, the strong blue colorway of the hybrid Rocket Runner is dropping and it mixes two of their best cushioning technology. I've worn these and they are pretty comfortable. If you are ready for something different, you can grab those for $120. Now, one of the most unique sneakers dropping this week is the VaporMax Lite 2. These are strictly for the ladies, but if you have the style, I think guys could probably pull these off as well. I'll be honest and say that I'm not that stylish. Those will cost you 180 for either of those three colorways. If you can make it work, make it work. And finally, Adidas Ultra Boost is making a bit of a comeback, and the BCA, our breast cancer awareness version, is making an arrival on Saturday in Ash Silver. Regardless of the hype, the Ultra Boost remains one of the most comfortable shoes out there. Those will cost you $200. All right, so that's going to do it for the show today. And make sure you check the links down below for more information on all the sneakers that I mentioned in the video today. I am Jacques Slate. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.